Hi, welcome to this week's video. I'm going to be doing my normal sort of catch up of the week with you. Um, and then I'm also going to show you my sticker collection, which I organised a couple of days ago. And as long as it's not running too long, I'm also going to show you, um, I suppose, what you might call a junk journal. Um, this is essentially a, a sketchbook that I've commandeered and put some um, ephemera in. Um, a couple of people indicated they were kind of interested in that. So I'm just going to tidy up a little bit and then we'll work our way through each of the books. Okay, so firstly to look at my Hobonichi A6 and what the pages have looked like in the last week or so. Um, so firstly, um, I've done a bit of decoration on the calendar page ready for September. Um, so I tend to use a bit of colour coding here. I use a brown sticker for tasks. I use a green sticker, this sort of darker green sticker, for social things. And then the paler green sticker for appointments. Um, so I've got, yeah, this washi tape. This is from um, Marigo Suli. This September sticker is from Megan Rhiannon. Um, I've got this section blank at the moment. I tend to put in a quote that relates to the month and normally I end up finding that within the first few days of the month so for instance I've got the one for August just there and I've got a small tracker here of just things that I want to make sure that I do at least once a month so it tends to go best in this little corner here so I think it was sort of Thursday or Friday last week that I spoke to you it's quite late compared to normal um, so I believe yeah, here we were because, yeah, we were here. Um, so I mentioned um, last week it was that I've introduced a, a file of facts into my system and that's kind of changed my approach with this book a little bit. Because I'm tracking um, tasks and health things in the file of facts, I now no longer need um, the space at the top, the checkboxes at the top for that sort of thing. It also has kind of done away with my need for a to-do list. However, um, maybe a bit daft of me thinking on reflection, I have stuck down these to-do stickers for um, like quite a few weeks in the future. I think it's like mid-September it stops. Um, so I do still do a to-do list on the left-hand side at the moment. And then I've got my evening entry on the, um, on the right still. The way that's kind of changed with the introduction of the file effects is I write out my to-do list for the following day when I write my evening entry. So just to show you a quick example, tomorrow's to-do list is blank at the moment. So this evening, when I come in and do this evening entry, that's when I'll have a think about what I need to do tomorrow. So it's still serving a bit of a purpose, but it kind of is a little bit of duplication at the moment. So. I was thinking to myself about what to use this checkbox space for um, and in last week's video I mentioned and I showed you that I got a new tarot deck. Something that I do on and off is do a tarot reading for each day, so just pulling a card, not giving it loads of thought and it's, it's less of a sort of like deep meaningful thing and more about familiarising myself with a deck, familiarising myself with a card. So what I've started doing is turning turning the book, you know, 90 degrees and writing that tarot, um, that tarot card sort of interpretation for the day. Um, so it's a nice little space to do that and it's very quick and easy to do. Um, so I'll just talk you through the stickers and stuff from the last few days. Um, this smiley face sticker I got as part of a wider pack. I can't remember the original kind of um, creator or anything like that, but it was on... Um, my stationery pal I think so if you were to look up like smiley face stickers on there I'm sure it would come up these are a couple of Megan Rhiannon stickers um, the sticker under all these stars is one of my stamped and sealed co stickers and then this feeling poorly lettering um, is another Megan sticker um, all these to do stickers are from Lethbridge Papers uh, the coffee machine is a stamped and sealed co sticker and I can't quite recall where this washi is from. These stars are a mix of, actually no, I think they are all 
um, Marigo Sully ones. Um, I don't like this page or this decoration. Um, I essentially, I think it was, yeah, this day going into this night, um, got like three hours sleep or something, um, and felt really naff the next day, really rubbish. And it occurred to me to do like a stars in the night sky thing with this forest line that you can see and it didn't go it didn't go great but also I didn't want to then try and unpick all of them so I'm just deciding to move past it <laughs> um this is much nicer so we've got yeah to-do lists my evening entries and then the sort of tarot information at the top here um so yeah just to talk you through the stickers on this one this is a uh Marigo Sully one the little candle the ghost here is a Maureen Kunst one. We've got a couple of Megan stickers here. Um, these stars are from her also. The sort of torn bit of paper here is a Stanton Sealed Co sticker. And then this is a Maureen Kunst one. Um, it's a little bit of a shame that I ended up covering this up with my picture of the book that I'd finished reading. I wasn't, when I put the sticker down, I wasn't anticipating that I was going to finish the book. Um, but that's why I do it in this sort of... Um, flap way I can still see things um, and then the next couple of days same format as normal quite minimal and um, this is a Megan Rhiannon sticker uh, my partner and I we went on Sunday to uh, a cafe and a walk in the woods and we grabbed ice creams on the way back as well so that was for that um, the sticker under here this is a Maureen Kunst one um, I've been reading a lot about uh, natural history and that sort of thing um, in the last few weeks so it sort of fit nicely with that and another picture of a book that I finished um, those couple of books by the way were um, two out of three of the ones that I borrowed from the library that I mentioned last week and here we are on Tuesday we've got the tarot information at the top we've got my to-do list which is partly done um, so what I tend to do I'm filming now so that's that um, what I tend to do with having written the to-do list the night before is now I don't tend to have the A6 sort of open on my desk during the day like I used to. The rings very much sort of fits that um, function now. So the to-do list, I review it at the end of the day usually when I'm opening it back up to do the evening entry. Or if I happen to open it up for another reason, then I'll sort of do that little bit of a check-in. Whereas the Filofax list, I'd say, is the kind of live one. And that's the one that I'll kind of add to during the day as well. It's more of a kind of, I suppose, like a live document. Um, so that's where we are with the A6 at the moment. Next up, I will show you um, I will show you the Traveller's Notebook style notebook. Um, this month it's looking really chunky because of the extra pages that I've added to the back. Um, so let's have a look. Is there much to show you towards the beginning? Not loads to show you towards the beginning. Had a, a few like appointments and stuff going this week. Um, I'm a couple of days behind on this health tracker because, uh, again, my Filofax has largely uh, kind of replaced this in terms of tracking that kind of information. Um, show you how the weekly spread looked in the end. So. Um, this was kept fairly minimal, um, but again, like I mentioned last week, I think I really like this decoration, so that's cute. Um, decorated for this weekly spread, so at the bottom here I've got some washi tape from Colour Cafe. These two stamp style stickers, these are two of my own stickers from my Glimmers sticker sheet. And then I've got this um, sort of fountain pen over the top as well. And I feel like the colours work really nicely here with the sort of blues and greys and then the orangey reds. Now, with um, how I'm using the Filofax, I don't feel the need to use these weekly spreads as I have been in the past. So in the past, I'd been doing like headline um, updates on kind of the main things I'd done in the particular day. This week, I've gone back to using it for media tracking. And that's how I foresee using the Traveller's Notebook style notebooks. That's a tongue twister, but you catch my drift. Um, that's how I anticipate using these weekly spreads in my September onwards booklets. And then the real sort of 
star of the show with these booklets for me is the commonplace section. Um, so I'll show you the commonplace pages from the last few days. Um, this is where we were before, so this was me talking about um, the rings, how I'd set things up, how I wanted to utilise them. Um, after that was um, some notes about the tarot, first uh, tarot spread reading that I did with my new deck of cards. Um, we've got a couple of stickers here, so this cobweb is from Bones and Blankets. The candles are from Megan Rhiannon. And this little gravestone is from Paper Shire. On the next page, we've got um, some Hobonichi thoughts. So, um, generally speaking, I've not really liked anything from the previews so far. Um, but one thing I did like was the bits and pieces from the illustrator called uh, Hiroko Kubota. Um, and that person's uh, had illustrations featured in um, last year, I think it was as well. Um, I don't think I'm necessarily going to go for any of these things, but it was nice to um, have a think about, okay, if I was going to go for any of them, which would it be? Um, and to just sort of capture the imagery here as well. i um, got a quote here um, from In Memory of Memory. Um, and this little flower here is from um, Pocket Milo. I mentioned in last week's video about how I placed an order with him and the envelope had some doodles on. So that's just one of those other doodles. This quote, this copied text is um, from The Importance of Analogue Tools. This sticker is from Stamped and Sealed Co. And this is a more Kunst one. Um, we've got a little book review from when I finished Chris Packham's Nature Handbook. So I've tacked the picture in here. I've got a picture of a... A sticker rather of a butterfly this is from stamped and sealed co and then we've got um my review of pattern seekers so i tacked the picture in again and there we are um i've got a bunch of pages loose at the moment so when i'd written my thoughts about the um the hobonichi preview that was me finishing the natural end of this book but i had taken spare pages from july's booklet and I've tacked them in the back here. Um, it's, what have we got? We've got like a, a week and a half of August left. And I've got maybe what, two, four, four and a half ish pages left. Um, now, normally I'd want to be like as free and easy with common placing as possible, not restrict myself and so on. Um, but now I am a little bit cautious of, I am going to massively run out of paper. Um, potentially I could go back and fill in margins, but I've not actually got loads of margin space to be able to do that. I might just have to um, trim down some pages from a bigger notebook or something like that. Um, I anticipate there being at least one more book review and then anything further from Hobonichi to talk about as well. Um, it's a shame in a way that I'm kind of running out um, I don't know if I've ever really had that happen before, um, but it's nice having a chunky book. There's that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll probably be able to update you on how I've got on with that as, as of next week. Um, I'm expecting to have a busy few days at the end of this week and then next week to be kind of busy as well. So I might not have a chance to do much more than the book review that I mentioned. Fingers crossed. Um, and then to show you kind of how I've got on in the final facts so far, so I'll just flip to the very beginning here. Um, my layout hasn't really changed since setting it up, which I think means that I had good foresight about how I'd be using this. Um, so I just flip through kind of quickly, but if there's anything you'd like me to talk about in more detail as I do this, then um, yeah, just, just drop me a comment below. Um, so yeah, we've got the sort of tracker pages that I'm using. So these were originally Megan Rhiannon commonplace pages, but then I've repurposed them. Um, the page I had for last week's trackers, I've moved across to my archive already, just because I didn't want to confuse myself or, you know, get thrown in any way um, in terms of accidentally updating the old tracker or anything like that. So we've got my daily tasks here the weekly tasks here and then the one-off tasks at the bottom that's all going nicely 
Um, we've got the health things here. Um, I've not updated this since like midday yesterday, so looking at this now <laughs> is a good reminder for me to um, to get that updated. Um, it's quite helpful having this list here because if anything new happens, I can just add to it. So um, without getting too heavy, tail end of last week, I felt really quite unwell and had some heart palpitations and felt really nauseous. That isn't something that happens to me every day, but it happens relatively frequently. So those are now on the list so I can keep track of everything. We'll go to the next section. So this section is really like scrappy notes and I wouldn't expect you to follow this or read this. My, my uh, handwriting is not very neat, um, but this has been a really useful practical space for me. So generally speaking, what I'll tend to do is I'll uh, you know, mark the date in some way or the day of the week in some way. I'll have my live to-do lists, which will sometimes change. I'll cross things out, I'll move things forward. And then any other notes that kind of occur to me during the day. So here I've got like, I keep forgetting this, but I need to do that. And then I can review what I've written as well. So for instance, this task from the 12th of August is still outstanding, but it's it's ticking over in my head. I've not forgotten it because I'm looking at these pages so often. Um, so I'll just quickly flip through these. Oh yeah, um, stickers and stuff. This washi tape is a, a Halloween one um, from the range last year. Don't know if they're going to restock it. And then this coffee sticker is from Stamped and Sealed Co. Um, this picture of a planner, well the sticker of a planner rather, this is a Salam Creative one. Um, the washi tape, I'm not sure where it came from because it was used to seal the, um, the parcel I got from Pocket Milo. And then this butterfly is one of the stamped and sealed co um, stickers that I got. This is from the envelope uh, from Pocket Milo. This was a stamped and sealed co one. Some more of that Halloween washi. The star is from um, Noah, I'll link their shop below. Um, and what's quite helpful about this space as well is um, I mentioned about putting my tarot card reading in my um, commonplace section in this booklet. I wanted to just very quickly write down what cards I'd pulled in the moment before I started reflecting on um, the symbolism of the cards and, and looking at the guidebook and so on. So I did that quickly here and then I was able to transfer those notes and that information once I'd had time to sit and think for a while. So it's been helpful for things that I want to write up neater as well. Um, here I've used some of the stickers that I got last week from the works. Um, they're quite like big and full on for these pages, so I don't think I've done this again. But these will be really helpful, I think, maybe for um, my, like, my vision board things that I do at the beginning of each month. Um, I was thinking the other day, maybe even the front cover of um, my books for next year. Um, my intention is, you know, with the Hobonichi book I get, unless it's a Han, that I'll cover it with some paper and then I could just put like January to July on there. Um, but yeah, that's me thinking way ahead again. <laughs> this is a uh, stamped and sealed co sticker. Um, yeah, cool more tarot stuff here. Um, I've really enjoyed using the stencils that I bought last week as well, so you can see that a few times here. Um, yeah, like, it, this looks really messy, but it's been really helpful for me. Um, these stickers are Paper Shire ones, and then this star is a Megan Rihanna one. Um, got a list here of like places to go and things to do in my local city. Got my to-do list here, and we've got today's to-do list. Um, something else that I've done within this section as well might be easier to look at if I take it out of the rings. So I took a sheet of grid paper. This was some paper that came with the file of facts, and I folded in it, folded it in half, almost like a bookmark. And I've got just like the headline appointments and things going on in that week. Um, and I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the back here. On quieter weeks, when I've not particularly got anything on, I won't feel the need to do this, but I've got, yeah, except for Monday and Sunday this week, I've got something on. And um, although I've got my calendar pages, 
it just felt a bit um, fuzzy in my head and I just felt the need to be able to see this really quickly. So that's been helpful to have here and it's kind of acted as a bookmark for like where I am in addition to having um in addition to having this pencil board in here as well and what I'll be able to do uh, once Thursday has passed is just like look at and think about this one um this this other side of it I mean um what's kind of been helpful here is um because I'm not good at maths I was struggling for a while um like I, I went through a couple of pages of paper just trying to figure it out I couldn't space out the days of the week properly to make it so that it was like even or that for instance like the whole of this was being taken up so I've done this red line and I've got blank space underneath but then when things that are new have been booked in it means that I've just been able to write them in under that line and do an arrow um, so it might not like look the neatest but it's still very practical um, so yeah pencil board lots of um, lined paper ready for me to use here and then we'll go to the next section. Um, so this section I'm kind of calling collections. Um, so kind of borrowing from that um, bullet journaling kind of idea about journals, uh, about um, collections, sorry. Um, but also kind of blending it in with the concept of a commonplace. So commonplace books I tend to get through quite quickly because, you know, this year I've, I've primarily been using um, sort of shorter books. And what I tend to find is that there is certain reference information that I want to be able to come back to time and time again, rather than rifling through a bunch of different books to find it. So that's what this back section's really about. So um, I've drawn up some sheets this week and I've got some other ideas about what else to add to this section. Firstly, I've got this page about different senses within the body. Um, I've got a little Megan Rhiannon sticker here as well. Um, so those are there. I've also got this section about different trees. Um, I focus primarily on trees that are native to the UK as well, because that's what I'm most typically—that's what I'm most typically going to see. Um, so I've got a picture here of the different shapes of the leaves and different bark textures as well, with with them all labelled. And then when I was reading that Chris Packham book, something else that um, was discussed as part of that was. Um, cloud watching and different types of cloud and that's not something I've studied in any detail um, but I thought it'd be interesting to be able to spot different cloud formations and, and name them so I've just done myself a little guide in here as well some pictures on the back um, and then I've got a couple of recipes in here so um, something I enjoy cooking but takes a lot of energy for me is um, like a vegan carbonara so when I have got the spoons for it this is my recipe for that and um, similarly there's a red lentil curry that I enjoy doing as well so I've got my recipe for that here too um, and then just some spare paper at the back and not masses have, has changed really in here I don't think um, I've still got a lot of the decoration where it was before um, I've got this card and a, a thank you card here at the very back so it's quite nice they're protected but they're still fairly visible and then let's show you these other bits so this was the um, original sort of cheaper binder that I bought and I've now got my sticker collection in here um, it took me a good while to get this together but I'm really glad that it's done because it's made it so much easier for me to find everything as well um, and I've made use of the dividers that came with my Filofax here. Um, now the sort of categories I've got probably don't make don't necessarily make the most sense to other people, but it makes sense to me and it's helped me navigate the space. So because there's gonna be a few stickers from a few different people in here, I'm not gonna like name names and go through absolutely every single one. Um but if there's anything that you wanted to double check with me or ask about, then I'll come back to you on that in the comments. Um, so the first section here, briefly, broadly speaking, is um, like stars and accents. It's probably the best way to put it. So it's nice to have all the, all the same type all together. Um, and it's also helping me think about like 
getting out of like a scarcity mindset with it. Sometimes I'd be worried about using these because I would think like, oh, these are like kind of precious, I don't want to run out. And it's like, well, I've got pages and pages of them. I really don't need to worry about running out. Got a couple of the sort of gloomies in here as well. I've got a sheet here of stickers that relate to like health things. So we've got like teeth, tablets, glasses, that sort of thing. Got a couple more here, um, including like a first aid kit and an insect repellent. So that's helpful. Uh, we've got light bulbs and a torch. And we've got some thumbs up here. And then we're in the next section. So this is, to start with, it's like smiley faces and emoticons of some sort. So we've got like the different faces here, like sleepiness and eating. We've got words and language. We've got exclamation marks and question marks as well. We've got my this week ones that I've used quite a bit. We've got OK, we've got the word appointment. We've got question marks, exclamation marks, a bit more writing. I think just because I'd like run out. Oh, I've not quite run out of space, actually. Maybe I should transfer those across. I'll do that off screen in a bit. Um, and we've got some days, uh, some months of the year as well. Next section. So this is largely um, largely spooky stuff and I think some coffee as well. So we've got ghosts, more ghosts, <laughs> um, spooky food, which is I've got food, a food category later, but it felt more pertinent to put the spooky food with the spooky stuff than with the food stuff. Um, same again, we've got some sort of spooky coffee and then these um, like Halloween treats. Um, we've got skulls and bones, and skeletons, we've got potions, we've got candles. Um, now like a few of these, oh, actually this one, this one is just a skull, it doesn't need to go here, so I'll pop it on this page. Um, a few of these like cross, um, cross categories in a way and, and there are ones later on that also do that. Like there's schools with these candles but I've kept them in the candle one just because I think I'll remember it better in the candle section. Um, yeah, more candles and lamps. We've got pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. So I kind of mostly separated what is a jack-o'-lantern versus what is just like a more generic pumpkin. But there's overflow, of course. We've got these squiggles, got these haunted houses. Um, we've got kind of like witchy things as well. So we've got a broomstick, we've got a planchard, cobwebs. Um, these didn't really fit anywhere else, so I just kind of put them with the cobwebs and the sort of spooky books. We've got gravestones, um, and then we've got the more generic like food section here. And then we move into like tea and coffee, tea and coffee, and, and some uh, like groceries here. We've got coffee spills, more coffee. You can kind of get a lot of like my themes and interests from looking at this collection, I think. Um, a few more coffee pages and then we're on to the next section here. Um, so I think a big part of this next section is uh, like to do with books and reading. So we've got, um, oh, just realised that one's kind of coming off the page. So we've got like, um, we've got books, we've got sort of text and written things. Um, we've got a few more to do with like writing and letters some more books so we've got like a combination of like planners and then uh, like reading books as well more reading books and uh, some text as well more books and planners some more like text and books it's kind of more like stationary but you know, I feel like stationery and books go together quite nicely. We've got like gaming related ones here, so we've got quite a few um, like Switch, uh, Nintendo Switch kind of consoles, but then also chess pieces as well, so I feel like they go together quite nicely. Um, we've got like media here, so um, we've got like video camera, a photography camera, photos, ticket stubs. We've got a section that's kind of like parcels and letters here, so you can see those. Um, Pencils, pens, uh, stationery, I guess, would be the best way to put this. Typewriters, music. Um, some bats back here as well. Um, so bats, I was kind of like undecided because arguably they're like a spooky animal. 
but I've put them back here because then I've got quite an animal collection. Um, I use this sticker release paper and although it's kind of handy it does mean that for smaller stickers they sometimes like get stuck to one another and stuff but anyway um we've got quite a few like moths and bugs and stuff here um paw prints all the butterflies um we've got crows we've got black cats um again the, these here could could or should you know depending on your viewpoint have gone with the ghost section um but my thinking is, if I wanted a ghost, I'd go to the ghost section, whereas here, like, I'd want to use these if I'd, like, interacted with a cat that day. So I think of them as being, like, a cat dominant rather than ghost dominant. Um, this owl here. Um, got a number of black cats. Got this uh, duck character. Just got a spare page here. I'm going to move this so I can put it to the back once I'm done. Um, got a page here of like weather related things so we've got rainbows we've got clouds we've got a storm um actually i'm going to use this one today because we had a hell of a storm this morning i feel like that will just go really well i'm just going to pop it down here not overthink it so following on from the weather we've got oh yeah some about it's like a, a moon section here. I'm surprised I've not got more, but I think if I if and when I get those, I tend to use them quite quickly. Um, and then I think this is the last section. So we've got some love hearts here. We've got lots of nature stickers. Um, so we've got lots of plants, leaves, fungi, and yeah, loads of these. This will probably take forever. This bit. <laughs> um, these bigger ones mean that, like. There's not really much space for more than two or three on a sheet, but I'll be able to reuse these once I'm done as well, which is good. Yeah, and this this page at the back's a little bit of a miscellaneous one, so kind of initially geared it towards like clothing and self care, but then there's a couple that just didn't fit in other categories as well. And I think this last section is like Christmas stuff, so we've got some like Christmas. Uh, cookies and cake. Lots of different Christmassy bits here. And yeah, that's it. And then we've just got a couple of sheets at the back because it just didn't make sense for me to split these off. So we've got these numbers, we've got some days of the week here, which as I start using these sheets more, I will probably transfer to the same page as the um, months of the year. But for now, I've just kept them intact couple of smiley faces and a couple of my own sticker sheets back here as well so it's really nice having everything all together um, but because they're on like the sticker release paper already I feel like if I wanted to take a couple of sheets somewhere with me then it's very easy to like put them in a plastic wallet or something and get that done and just the last little thing to show you um is this kind of junk junk journal thing i'll call it that very loosely um so last year i was in the hobonichi cousin and i st stuck down basically anything ephemera wise that i got my hands on and it meant that i had an incredible amount of bulk by the end of the year and it was really difficult to write in the book and to combat that the main thing i've done is i've moved to an avec book but even then, there's been certain things like business cards that I've just felt are too chunky for that book, but I didn't want to let go of. So those have gone in here and I've only used like a couple of pages of this, but I thought I'd just show you because it's the sort of thing I like to see from other people. So just briefly, let's kind of talk you through the front cover. Um, the book is a Collins and Davidson um, sketchbook. I picked this up from like a craft shop in North Wales somewhere. Um, initially thinking I'd use it as a sketchbook but then I didn't for whatever reason. Um, the decoration on the front, so this is just some craft paper. This is a print off of a Megan Rhiannon piece that she did a few years ago. I think I pulled it from the internet and it was just meant for my cork board initially but I'd cut it to the wrong size so I just popped it on here. Then we've got a Yoshito Minara figure here, a bat sticker which was from 
Sainsbury's. It was um, like a Halloween activity book for kids that I got last year. A couple of dot stickers. Um, and yeah, there's not, not massive going on in here, but I thought I'd show you. So, um, difficult to think of what everything is in a way. This is just a collage I made. Um, this text here was from, um, I bought an item from Hempnath, um, which is a really nice company. Some really small company as well um, that create um, goods made from hemp, so like shirts, bags, that sort of thing. And when they sent me the item, it also came with this dried flower, so I've included that still. I've got bits of washing and that sort of thing. Um, this was on an envelope from um, Chris Vardenager when they sent me um, an order that I placed with them. Um, this is a little greetings card from my partner from when I uh, finally got my autism assessment and my confirmation of that. Um, not going to open it because it's a bit personal, but it's a nice way to keep sentimental things like that without it just like sitting in a box somewhere as well. Got a few um, business cards and that sort of thing. Um, got my wristband from Nottingham's first Trans Pride few more uh, like receipts and things, bits that I've cut out from envelopes. Um, this is um, my uh, my sibling put this at the front of a notebook that they bought me for my birthday a good few years ago. Um, as it turned out, I'd not used the notebook. And when I was going through um, like finding paper to use in my file of facts and sort of going through notebooks and taking those apart, I took the notebook apart to use that paper, but I didn't want to just lose this. Um, so that's now in this book. So yeah, literally just got like three or four pages filled out there, but um, I like seeing that sort of thing from other people. And I quite like the idea of kind of next year, maybe reintegrating that bit. Um, I will still have to be careful of bulk, but I think there's potentially a balance to be reached or ways of me making things thinner. So for example, um, I think it was uh, Megan this week mentioned about with her trip to New York about like scanning things in and then keeping the scans just on a regular piece of paper and, and adding that to diaries. I think that might be like a, a sensible way to go with this sort of thing. So that's me for this week. Um, hopefully you found that interesting or helpful. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.